From Hollywood, time once again for another year of Money TV, our 23rd year. Thanks for joining us. Money TV is a program all about money and what makes it happen. I'm Don Belarjan. Thanks for being with us. Good economic news kept rolling in the past several days as the U.S. economy created 312,000 jobs in December, or more than double any economist's estimates. And while the mainstream media has been predicting doom and gloom for the economy as a fourth quarter stock market correction took place, the fact remained that the Dow Jones Industrial Average was up more than 1,000 points in the first couple of trading days since the jobs announcement. The facts didn't cloud the reporting by news outlets like CNN, which credited the stock market boom. The Fed chairman comments that he wouldn't resign if asked by the president to do so, with nary a mention of the burgeoning job growth. Here's a news flash. Struggling economies don't create 312,000 jobs in a single month. The entertainment continued as the newly installed members of the House representatives floated ideas of 70 percent tax rates, referring to the president as someone who had carnal knowledge with his mother, and proposed $54 billion in foreign aid, all whilst refusing to budge on border security. The standoff and the partial government shutdown continued past the holidays and into the new year. Most Americans were unaffected by the partial government shutdown, and many welcomed the temporary pause in government spending, as our national debt is now at $22 trillion. Now, just a reminder that if we stopped borrowing today and began paying down the national debt at the rate of $1 million per hour, 24 hours per day, 365 days per year, it would take more than 2,500 years just to pay off the principal. 2,500 years. The government shutdown will end as it always does, and both sides will claim victory as they always do. But we the people will be left holding the bag as always happens. Now here's something you don't have to hold. It's our toll-free number. Good from anywhere in the world. You're watching the program, 888-259-4449. You get free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. Again, toll-free from anywhere in the world, 888-259-4449. Visit us at moneytv.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Our first guest this week joins us over the phone, Mr. Alex Hamilton. He's the Chief Financial Officer of ChineseInvestors.com, Incorporated. CIIX is their stock symbol. Alex, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Well, we're real pleased to have you on the program. First time we've met you uh, specifically. Uh, tell us what's going on with the company these days. Well, currently I'm the CFO for CBD Biotech uh, and uh, starting to help with Chinese investors. CBD Biotech is a subsidiary-owned uh, by Chinese investors, and we're currently in the process of trying to spin that out as a public company. Well, I know that Warren Wang, your CEO, is very bullish on the CBD business. Uh, tell us how that's working out for you. It's working out great, actually. The, the, the play here is we're going to be the first uh, Chinese uh, CBD play that's going to list on the, the NASDAQ national market. Uh, CBD, uh, there are various rules. Uh, it is legal in China. Uh, we have a liquor line, and we have a cosmetics line, and we're currently looking to expand uh, within other uh, regions of Southeast Asia. Well, that's interesting because, of course, it just became federally legal here in the United States, so it is also legal in China? It is, correct. So uh, what's the uh, game plan? What's, what, ne what has to happen next to uh, implement your plans? So we've, we've hired our bankers. Uh, we're in the process of going through all the due diligence, and this is, this is announced. This is something that we have talked about. Uh, at this point, it's probably going to be more of a, uh, a second-half event. Um, uh, currently, the, we're, we're going through all the structuring uh, with the bankers and the attorneys. Uh, ultimately, I think what we would like to do is spin this out to the public. Uh, any any uh, owners of uh, Chinese investors will get a stock dividend. Obviously, we'll get a benefit. Uh, from the value that we're going to unlock from CBD Biotech. Well, this is pretty heady stuff, pretty exciting. I mean, uh, a, a listing on the NASDAQ exchange, you must be pretty excited about it. Oh, it, it's an uh, it's a, it's a, it's a exciting challenge every day. It's a, it's a really great process to go through. I'm, I'm honored to be leading the process, uh, and I'm, I'm honored to be adding the value not only, not only to CBD Biotech, but unlocking a tremendous amount of value for ChineseInvestors.com. Once again, CBD Biotech, of course, a subsidiary of ChineseInvestors.com, ChineseInvestors.com, stock symbol CIIX. Alex, congratulations on the progress so far. Good luck in the future. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Join us now in studio are two executives in a company called Nuggle Incorporated, NUGL is their stock symbol. To my immediate left is Mr. C.J. Maloney, the founder of the company. C.J., great to see you again. Great to see you. 
And this is Vice President of Sales, Bob Waters. Bob, always a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I know a lot has been going on the last three or four weeks with the company. Why don't you bring us up to date? Yeah, a lot. We, uh, we finally got to a place to where we're having steady and consistent growth, nice. which is good for a startup. Mm -hmm. um, we're increasing our growth every month. Mm -hmm. And you know, as usual, the technology is getting better and better. Right. We just announced we launched our own ad server, which right. is exciting, under Noble Media Group. Mm -hmm. And now we have the capability to actually push ads to our platform in the cannabis space on any digital platform nice. outside of network. And we're flirting with the idea of beta testing that. And it's just another opportunity for all our profiles to you know, have another channel to market. Well, Bob, as VP of sales, this, yeah. this new development must have you chomping at the bit to get rolling. Excited. It's exciting times. You know, we had mentioned previously, you know, having the ability to be able to offer ad space and traffic to our business partners within our network on one particular site is great news. But now being to offer them exposure on multiple platforms, um, from be it on our Grow magazines, be it on our lifestyle and news websites, uh, across the board, it's a single point where we can just talk to the business owner, identify their target market, who are they trying to reach, who do they want their ads presented to, and then we can finesse that within our ad server to be able to deliver those needs. And of course, we're talking about the Nuggle app, which basically connects people to all things related to cannabis, correct? That is absolutely correct. And the business owners will also have an option, too, now, where they can be driving traffic across our network and driving it back to their websites or to their robust profiles, which will include all of the, the, the capabilities within the application, such as our menus and our uh, different types of business listings and brands and so forth. So they've got great options, fantastic technology that I'm just excited to share with everyone. <laughs> now, of course, your multimedia with respect to magazines and, of course, the app itself, but you're also getting into event management, uh, something going on at Sundance. Tell us about that. Yeah, we're excited. We're doing uh, the first CBD event and at Sundance. And what's exciting about that is what we've found over the course of the last several months is there's so many cannabis businesses out there that don't have really a voice. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're starting to see the level of different types of companies, you know, be born into the industry and becoming more legitimate for Sundance to participate in something like this and offer Nuggle, you know, the opportunity to be part of it as well is a big deal. It's going to bring the cannabis and certain aspects of that industry into people's homes. And it's really a big step nationally on a mainstream level for the industry. Of course, CBD just became federally legal in the United States. So that development just must accelerate your plans beyond belief. Yeah, it has. It's, it's interesting to look at the analytics because, you know, we do offer profiles for all types of business and they network with each other. But, I mean, we can see, you know, spikes on different types of businesses and the activity within the app based on what's happening on the legislation side in the country. Well, we need to go to break. I want to continue this conversation. Plus, we have another guest. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Please stay with us. Have you heard the news? There's only one flat fee news distribution network on the market. It's called Access Wire, and it's exclusively from Issuer Direct. Any day, any time, the Access Wire News Network can deliver your press release to more than 1,500 media outlets in 98 countries. Access Wire also delivers real-time engagement analytics. You will learn who read and shared your press release and more. Best news of all, getting started is easy. Visit accesswire.com and extend your company's news reach today. Does this sound familiar? Turned down for a mortgage? Credit card interest over 20%? Didn't get the job you wanted? The problem is your credit score. Unsure what your credit score is? Call the Advocacy Network, 321-947-3220. Talk to Carl. He can help you regain your financial independence. Change your life today. 321-947-3220. Talk to Carl. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington. On Shark Tank, we always look for the next big thing. Today, it's digital currencies like Bitcoin. But everyone wants to know, is it real and how do I get started? Yes, it's real. And the best way to start is setting up your free digital wallet with singlepoint.com. They make it easy to buy, use, and store digital currencies without banks or debit and credit cards. Use promo code SING for your free wallet and informative newsletter. That's singlepoint.com. 
Hi, we're back. Thanks for staying with us. We have another guest with us here as part of the Nuggle campaign, uh, Mr. Todd Denkin. You're the CEO of a company called Digipath. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Good to be well, here. You folks are working on a joint venture together. Why don't you tell us about that? We're in negotiations. Uh, you know, Nuggle is finally at the stage where we feel it's the right move for us to start making strategic partnerships. And uh, Digipath is somebody that we're talking to, and Todd's been in the industry for a long time. Tell us a little bit about the company, Todd. Absolutely. We are a uh, testing company, a cannabis lab testing company that uh, also dabbles a little bit into the data world. And, uh, you know, we saw Nuggle and, um, you know, we always like to do business with really good companies. And, uh, you know, here we are going up to Sundance together to uh, do this first CBD Expo. Well, we've got Amanda Poole right now with Nuggle. She's uh, in Sundance. Hi, Amanda. Hi. Tell us what's going on over there. You're getting ready. We are getting ready. You are behind the scenes with the magic of making the lounge happen. I'm walking through the Nuggle Rejuvenation Station right now in the construction zone. We are prepping and remodeling to get it ready for our design and decor to have it a spectacular event for daytime wellness and health center and education on CBD for the medical usage. Well, we better let Amanda get back to work. It sounds like they got a lot to do over there. They do. It's a big event. Now, uh, how did you get involved with this? Um, it was an opportunity that Amanda presented to us, and you know, we saw it. It's a it's a four day event. I believe there's six different venues throughout the week. It's at the biggest venue, the Fly Lounge in Sundance. Todd is going to be speaking at the Technology Lounge, and um, you know, it's going to be more publicity than anything we've done to date. Heavily attended event, I'm sure. It is. I believe there's supposed to be 65,000 people. 65,000 people? Correct. That's amazing. Have you, ever, have you ever spoken before that many people? I have, as a matter of fact. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about it again. And, uh, you know, the fact that mainstream, you know, is now embracing CBDs and hemp and even, uh, you know, cannabis things, it's uh, really exciting to uh, make that crossover. Over yeah, we mentioned this on the program earlier in, in, in the show where it's basically like the end of prohibition back in the 1920s. Right. Yeah, you know, it's the end of something and the birth of something exactly, at the same like time. Exactly, like a phoenix. It's, that's right. Of course, uh, Todd Denkin, CEO of Digipath, CJ Maloney, founder of Nuggle Incorporated, the stock symbol of Nuggle is N-U-G-L. Gentlemen, uh, fascinating. Looking forward to hearing more about this. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Joining us now via Skype from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, is Mr. Riggs Eckleberry. Riggs is the CEO of Origin Clear Incorporated, O-C-L-N. Riggs, welcome to the program. I was going to start singing Jimmy Buffett, but I think I'll refrain. Well, we're, we're, also, we're also appreciative of that. Uh, tell us why you're in Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> uh, well, really, it's just to um, depressurize. Uh, my wife, Sigrid, and I spend the entire year going in different directions, and we actually are spending a few days with each other. Nice. Can you believe it? <laughs> but my only question is this, Don. Where is Tracy for the makeup? She, uh, she, she missed her flight. <laughs> What's the latest so, with the company? Well, well okay, so uh, I haven't been idle. It's actually been a great week for me to work with the team on planning. Um, we have a couple really important initiatives. The first thing is that as I uh, briefed everyone in my uh, CEO briefing last Thursday, we are working to integrate with modular water systems this year to create a series of positive revenue and eventually profitable quarters in 2019. We have the forecast and uh, a very strong support company in uh, progressive water treatment. So we can do that. Now, the other thing that's really interesting, remember how I was talking to you about um, the home water treatment, connected right. water in the home? Mm -hmm. Well, the issue with that is, of course, we're doing industrial water treatment. How are we going to also do that? It's, if we wait to do the home thing, it's going to be a while. And in the meantime, we don't want to be focused. So uh, the good news is, is that we are actually in talks with a company that's in the connected home doing water of another kind. I can't say who because it'll be obvious. Um, and they are going to help us create a venture where we use their channel their network of installers and we start with something that is completely outside of the industrial focus and i think uh, you're going to find that to be a very interesting initiative we're working on it now we are at the um, uh, loi stage and i think it's going to be very good 
The third thing I wanted to mention is that um, the holidays kind of extended the acquisition thing. People kind of went silent uh, as they do, um, especially the first week of January was a slow week. We ha are, however, completely on track um, and proceeding with um, two acquisitions uh, and ready and able to do it, have the funding in place in principle. And uh, I expect to be able to update your audience more on that very soon. So basically, we're talking about further disruption of an age-old business, the water business. You know, just like the taxi industry, just like the hotel industry, this is ripe for disruption. Slow-moving behemoth that is not treating enough of the water in the world, and we're going to help. Once again, Origin Clear, OCLN. Of course, we're talking with Riggs Eckerberry, the CEO of the company, also known as the Dean of Water. Riggs, enjoy the rest of your time in Puerto Vallarta. Looking forward to seeing you back in the studio real soon. Peace out. And joining us now direct from Phoenix, Arizona, is Greg Lambrecht. Greg, of course, is the CEO of Single Point Incorporated. S-I-N-G is their stock symbol. Greg, welcome back to the program. Oh, hey, thanks for having us again in 2019. Well, the big news in 2019 has been the federal legalization of hemp and CBD. That has to be an important development for your company, isn't it? Yeah, it really has. Um, we purposely uh, did not get into, you know, acquiring or funding um, dispensaries or grow operations in, in THC and cannabis because, you know, it, it's illegal and it's still illegal. So for, for a variety of reasons, uh, you know, we decided not to do that. So we're so excited about uh, just a couple weeks ago, uh, the House and the Senate and uh, President Trump signing off on that CBD hemp is legal federally in the United States. So we are going to go after that market uh, very hard. Uh, you know, as you know, uh, Single Point is now a fully reporting uh, OTC QB company. So we have um, a lot of opportunities for investment and we have a lot of opportunities for acquisitions in the CBD market. And that is really going to be our focus in 2019. When you think about it, this federal legalization of hemp and CBD is akin to the repeal of prohibition in the 1920s. Yeah, that, that's the way, you know, we're seeing it. I mean, we, you know, as you know, we've never uh, been Johnny come lately to, to this industry. In 2014, we were, we were putting terminals in, in um, you know, in dispensaries and doing quite well. And then, of course, uh, you know, we got shut down because, again, uh, you know, th that cannabis is illegal. So as soon as we found out that, that CBD is now federally legal, that allows us to to spend uh, the dollars necessary to to really uh, dominate or be one of the major players with our with our CBD website singleseed.com. But more importantly, I guess is you know my background. I took a cigar company public on uh, the Nasdaq in '96 uh, and put uh, humidors and cigars in 30,000 accounts. So this year we've already signed up for four of the biggest trade shows in the country. And we're going to have our CBD rack package, if you will. And, uh, you know, we're going to really go hard on putting CBD um, at, at retail and try and dominate that market. So we're really excited about 2019 and uh, what we're going to do with the CBD uh, uh, business. What's really interesting is this is going to really open the doors to retail locations, convenience stores, gas stations and the like. Well, that's just it. So in the past, even within the last six months, you know, uh, keeping a close eye on it, I saw that some of the major chains, 7-Eleven and, and so on and so forth, had, had put some CBD products in and got quite a you know, news story out of it. But then two weeks later, uh, someone within the company said, hey, you know, it's, it's illegal. You, you, you need to take that out. So that's what's exciting is now the product is legal. So now your Walgreens and Safeways and, and your 7-Elevens and Circle Ks of the world can put this product in their stores without worrying about the federal government, uh, you know, giving them a fine or, or taking it back out. So that's what we're really focused and concentrating on. Um, and, you know, I have, uh, you know, quite a bit of experience of, of placing products in retail. So it really... Uh, ties into what Single Point wants to do. Well, Greg, how does this affect your online store, singleseed.com? 
Well, one of the, the, the ways it affects it is, is, is because CBD is, is legal and we're fully reporting, we are really uh, getting bombarded, if you will, with, with investors um, you know, that want to invest in single point. And what that means is, is we can now take that money and increase our SEO marketing, um, put more products on the online site and simply um, you know, the site is great. I, I encourage all shareholders to go there. It's singleseed.com. We have over 200 products. Uh, we've had this site up over a year. It's doing very well. But really, um, what we're going to do with that site is, is, you know, the old phrase, we're going to throw a lot of money at it and try and, try and be one of the top uh, CBD sites, um, you know, in the country. One of the other things we're going to do is we're going get, to get the product on Amazon as well. 2019 shaping up to be a big year for single point stock symbol SING. Uh, Greg, congratulations on all those developments. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, well, it is going to be a great uh, 2019. And I know I was on the show uh, before the holidays and telling people not to sleep on single point. And, uh, you know, since then, we've gone up 100%. And uh, we, we expect to do extremely well. Um, in the market in, in 2019. So I'll tell you again, not to sleep on single point. Thank you. And joining us now in studio is Mr. Ray Smith. Ray is the CEO of a company called Tricera Financial Incorporated. Ray, great to see you again. It's great to be here, Don. Now, one thing I did not mention was a stock symbol because you were a public company before. You're not currently listed. Uh, why don't you give us a little bit of background? Yep. So we were working on getting our financials uh, refiled with the SEC and redone. And we just missed the deadline, so we had to deregister. And now that we're, we're done with the audits, we're going to refile a Form 10 and become public again. Within the next two to three months, we should be back up and trading again. You know, a lot of people who follow public companies aren't aware of all the filings and the voluminous amount of paperwork and the expense involved. It, it's so taxing, and we have to go through the same burden that big companies go through by filing every quarter and then an audit every year. And the costs are just as high for us as it is for big companies, so it's, it's taxing. Now in the interim, things have been very uh, eventful for not only the company, but for you as well. I noticed you worked on a book with uh, Shark Tank star Kevin Harrington. Tell us about that. Yeah, we did. I did, uh, we wrote a chapter 16 in this book, co-authored a book, so that was released in September of this last year, and now it's an international bestseller already. Nice. So that's great. And then with doing that, we got an endorsement with Kevin Harrington because we're partnering with him with our revolutionary live agent kiosk because of our financial services that we provide people. Now, this kiosk is an amazing thing. I mean, basically, if you're having credit problems, this kiosk is online or in the facility, so to speak. I think you have these in military bases right now. That's right. They, uh, they can go to the kiosk, talk to a live operator. Tell us how it works. Yeah, so we help people with their money, putting spending plans together and matching up with their income. And then we look at their credit, where you're at today, and then we help you them get qualified for loans. So we created this for car dealerships specifically. We place them at car dealerships. When someone gets turned down, they lift up the gold handset, activate our a proprietary app, and a live agent comes on the screen and mm -hmm. they're having a live video conversation. And then we enroll them into our product line. So the military found out about our product line and what we do. And a lot of the vets, if they have bad credit, they'll lose their security clearance. Okay. And so we worked the last 18 months going through the due diligence process. And now this is available to be placed on the military basis. And so we have it approved at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, the Army base, and throughout all the uh, Veteran Administration career centers throughout the states of Tennessee and Kentucky. Well, it's really interesting when these things are in car dealerships because when someone gets turned down for credit, everybody's upset. The salesman's upset because he just spent all this time trying to get that person in the car. The customer's upset because he's not getting the car that he or she wanted. And they would leave the dealership and probably never come back. This kept them on the property. That's right. So I've been helping people with credit since 1998 with bad credit qualify for loans and we would have brochures and business cards and we had the salespeople at the car dealerships would pass them out but there was no personal connection right. and so that's why we created this live agent kiosk and absolutely right they spend all that money everyone walks away upset the customer that just got turned down doesn't know where to go right now while they're at that dealership they can enroll into our program and within the next 45 to 60 days they can get qualified for that loan maybe they can even get a better car than what they were trying to get. Now, one of the things about your company, and you, it's evident at your website, tricera.com, is you're teaching people 
Financial Habits of the Wealthy. Tell us about that. Yeah, so our program line is called Successful Habits of the Rich. Why is it the rich get richer and the poor stay poor? It's their habits. And a lot of budgets start with how much do you make and then they try to create a budget. Where we ask the people to list all of your expenses. You have 12 cell phone bills, 12 rents a year, gas, water. You know when they're due, you know approximately how much. And then once they put it all into our system, then we ask them uh, how frequently do you get paid? Monthly, weekly, or biweekly? And then whatever they choose, we calculate how much they need to have every pay period just in order to cover their expenses. And that's what's different and sets us apart from all the other spending planners out there. And then we print a calendar for 12 months and we show everybody their target balance each day of the month and then what bills will be coming out. So families can plan and they can make wiser financial decisions. And by doing that, they'll keep their credit good if they, after we fix it. Now you can also get notations on a person's credit report for non-traditional expenses like paying rent on time and that type of thing. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so when you pay your cell phone and your, til your utilities, those items don't get reported to the bureaus. So what we've done is we've created that process. Once you've put all your expenses into our spending plan program, we calculate how much you need for your bills, and then we have you deposit that onto a prepaid debit card, and then when you make those payments with that prepaid card, we see that transaction, and then we'll report that to the bureaus on the customer's behalf to add positive trade lines to the customer's credit, in addition to helping remove negative, erroneous mistakes that are on their credit report. So the goal is to have more money than month? That's right. As opposed to more month than money? That's right, yep, and that, by actually showing them all of their expenses, they can, they can make wiser decisions and make sure that the month doesn't run out first. Once again, the company is Tricera Financial Incorporated. Their website's tricera.com, T-R-Y-C-E-R-A.com. Ray, it's always a pleasure. Thank you, Don. It's great to be here as always. When the world's wealthiest couple is getting a divorce, they're going to be waving goodbye to lots of money. We're going to talk about that in the Money Wrap radio program. To find a radio station near you or listen online, go to moneywrap.com. Call us right now, toll free from anywhere in the world, 888 259 4449, to get free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. Again, toll free, 888 259 4449. Visit us at moneytv.net and please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. That's our program this week. We'll be back next week. Thanks so much for joining us.